Take Back the Night is an opportunity for the AU community to raise awareness about sexual assault and domestic violence. Participants take part in a march across campus and then gather at the Case Spiritual Life Center to listen to and share testimonials. Statistically, one out of three women will be sexually assaulted in her lifetime. One in ten rape victims are men. And one in four women will be raped or fight off attempted rape just during their time in college. If 25% of people uh, on campus were being hit by cars, like there would there'd be a traffic uh, patrol officer on every step of the way, but there's not that. That's not here for sexual violence. We're told to be quiet. We're told to be ashamed that we shouldn't talk about what happened to us, and we're not going to be quiet any longer. We're here to be seen, to be loud, and to be heard. It's important uh, to be loud because that's the purpose of this event in terms of raising awareness. Um, it's the silence of sexual violence that allows this type of culture to perpetuate itself. For students unfamiliar with Take Back the Night, the event can seem like a reason to just make a lot of noise on campus. However, as Brendan Bargman, the former vice president of the Interfraternity Council learned, underlying all of the noise is the painful impact that sexual assault has on so many people. Before this year's annual event took place, Bargman posted a Facebook comment that caused an uproar across the AU community. Bargman wrote, Take Back the Night is occurring this evening, in which many inexplicably angry women will be marching campus making way, way more noise than is either necessary or desirable. He went on to urge students to register a noise complaint. What I was trying to do this morning was just make a joke, um, admittedly, in respect, cheap joke, um, you know, at, at this event's expense, which is the wrong thing to do, but finding out how, just how important it is to people and the, and the importance of doing this kind of thing is really... I mean, obviously a bad situation, but there was, it was good that I was able to figure out just how important this is. Although Bargman did apologize, he subsequently resigned as vice president of the Interfraternity Council. It's such a big, important idea for us to educate, and that's what um, the Wellness Center is trying to do, Take Back the Night is trying to do, and like Peers is trying to do. This really terrible thing that happened. Um, is kind of showing a need for the education that we can provide. Sexual assault is the most underreported crime. However, there are many confidential resources available to victims. Information about the university's resources, such as counseling and medical care, can be accessed at www.american.edu slash sexual assault. DC community resources include the DC Rape Crisis Center, which offers a 24-7 support hotline, the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, RAIN, offers anonymous online support at www.rain.org. If victims plan to pursue a criminal case in the future, it's best to have evidence collected at the same program located at the Washington Hospital Center. Monika Fidler, ATV News.